Get ready, seniors. Your August 2024 benefits are coming in hot, and we got the inside scoop on when those checks will hit your accounts. Whether you're counting on Social Security, SSI, SEI, or VA benefits, this video is your go-to guide for planning ahead. Did you know that some of you might see your money earlier than usual this month? That's right, we're talking about early payments for certain groups, but who exactly qualifies and why is this happening? We'll break down the payment schedule day by day, so you won't miss a beat. From the first of the month to the last Wednesday, we've got you covered. And here's a little teaser. If your birthday falls on a specific day of the month, you might be in for a pleasant surprise. But wait, there's more. We'll dive into why the government occasionally shifts payment dates and how this impacts your financial planning. Plus, we'll share some savvy tips on how to make the most of your benefits, especially if you're getting that early cash. Worried about potential delays or hiccups in the system? Don't sweat it. We've got the latest updates on any processing changes or new policies that might affect your payments. And for our tech-savvy seniors, we'll show you how to track your benefits online like a pro. So are you ready to become a benefits schedule expert? Don't let this crucial information slip by. Smash that like button and stay tuned for all the details you need to navigate your August 2024 payments with confidence. Your financial peace of mind is just one video away. All right, now that we've got your attention, let's dive deeper into the nitty gritty of your August 2024 benefits. I know many of you have been eagerly waiting for this information, so let's not waste any more time. First things first, Let's talk about why some of you might be getting your checks earlier than usual this month. You see, the government has a policy of issuing payments early when the regular payment date falls on a weekend or a federal holiday. This August, we've got a couple of those scenarios playing out, which means good news for some of you. For our SI recipients, you're in for a treat. Your payment, which is typically scheduled for the first of the month, will actually be arriving on July 31st. Why? Because August 1st falls on a Thursday this year, and the Social Security Administration likes to make sure you have your funds available on the last business day of the previous month when this happens. So mark your calendars for July 31st. That extra day might not seem like much, but hey, who doesn't love getting paid a little early? Now for those of you receiving Social Security Retirement Benefits, SADI, or VA Compensation, your payment schedule is a bit different. The Social Security Administration distributes these benefits based on your birth date. If your birthday falls between the 1st and 10th of the month, expect your payment on the second Wednesday of August, which is the 14th. For those born between the 11th and 20th, your payday is the third Wednesday, August 21st. And if your birthday is from the 21st to the 31st, you'll see that deposit kick your account on the fourth Wednesday, August 28th. But here's where it gets interesting. For our friends receiving VA pension benefits, you're looking at a slightly different schedule. The VA typically sends out pension payments on the first of the month. However, since August 1st is a Thursday this year, you might see your funds available a day early on July 31st. It's always a good idea to check with your bank though as processing times can vary. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking. That's all well and good, but what if there's a problem with my payment? Don't worry, we've got you covered there too. The Social Security Administration and the VA have both been working hard to improve their systems and ensure smooth delivery of benefits. But if you do encounter any issues, the best thing to do is contact them directly. For Social Security and SSI, you can call their toll-free number at 1-800-772-1213. VA beneficiaries can reach out to the VA's benefits hotline at 1-800-827-1000. Let's talk a bit about why these payment schedules matter so much. For many of you, these benefits are a crucial part of your monthly budget. Knowing exactly when your money will arrive can help you plan your expenses more effectively. It can mean the difference between paying a bill on time or incurring late fees. That's why it's so important to stay informed about any changes or updates to the payment schedule. Speaking of staying informed, did you know that both the Social Security Administration and the VA offer online account services? If you haven't set one up yet, I highly recommend it. These online portals allow you to view your benefit information, update your personal details, and even set up or change direct deposit information. Now, let's address something that I know is on many of your minds, the Cost of Living Adjustment, or QLA. While we don't have the official numbers for 2025 yet, 
experts are already making predictions based on current inflation trends. The XILA for 2024 was 3.2 percent, which was lower than the previous year's 8.7 percent but still a significant boost. For 2025, early estimates suggest we might see a XILA somewhere in the 2.5 percent to 3 percent range. Of course, these are just predictions, and we won't know the official number until later this year. But it's something to keep an eye on as it will affect your benefit amounts for the coming year. Here's a pro tip for those of you who are still working while receiving Social Security benefits. Keep track of your earnings. There are limits to how much you can earn before it starts to affect your benefits, especially if you're under full retirement age. For 2024, if you're under full retirement age, you can earn up to $22,320 without any reduction in your benefits. If you're reaching full retirement age in 2024, that limit goes up to $59,520 for the months before your birthday. It's always a good idea to report any changes in your income to the Social Security Administration to avoid any surprises. Now, let's talk about something that's been in the news lately, the future of Social Security. I know many of you are concerned about the long-term stability of the program. The latest trustees report projects that the Social Security Trust Funds will be depleted by 2034 if no changes are made. But before you panic, remember that even if this happens, the program will still be able to pay about 80% of scheduled benefits from ongoing payroll taxes. There's also a lot of discussion in Washington about how to address this issue, so it's likely we'll see some changes before we reach that point. For our veterans receiving VA benefits, there's some good news on the horizon. The VA has been working on modernizing its systems and streamlining the claims process. This means faster processing times for new claims and appeals. They've also been expanding their online services, making it easier for you to manage your benefits and access important information. Let's circle back to those of you receiving SSI. I want to remind you about the resource limits for this program. As of 2024, Individuals can have up to $2,000 in countable resources, while couples can have up to $3,000. These limits haven't changed in a long time, and there's ongoing discussion about whether they should be increased. If you are close to these limits, it's important to keep a close eye on your resources to ensure you maintain your eligibility. For SSDR recipients, here's something to keep in mind. If you're thinking about returning to work, the Social Security Administration offers work incentives that can help you transition back into the workforce without immediately losing your benefits. These include a trial work period and extended period of eligibility. It's worth looking into if you're feeling ready to dip your toes back into the job market. Now, I know we've covered a lot of ground here, and some of this information might seem overwhelming. But don't worry, that's why we're here to break it down for you. Remember, knowledge is power when it comes to managing your benefits. The more you understand about how these programs work, the better equipped you'll be to make informed decisions about your finances. Let's talk about some practical steps you can take to make the most of your benefits. First, if you haven't already, consider setting up direct deposit for your payments. It's safer and more reliable than paper checks, and it ensures you have access to your funds as soon as they're released. Most banks offer special accounts for Social Security and VA beneficiaries with low or no monthly fees so it's worth shopping around to find the best deal. Another tip, create a budget based on your benefit amount. I know, budgeting isn't the most exciting topic, but it can really help you stretch your dollars further. Start by listing all your essential expenses, things like housing, food, medications, and utilities. Then see what's left over for discretionary spending. There are plenty of free budgeting apps available that can make this process easier. For those of you who are tech savvy, and I know there are a lot of you out there. Consider exploring some of the financial management tools available online. Many of these can help you track your spending, set savings goals, and even find discounts on everyday purchases. Remember, neither the Social Security Administration nor the VA will ever call you out of the blue and ask for personal information like your Social Security number or bank details. If you receive a suspicious call, hang up and contact the agency directly using their official phone number. Now, I know we've covered a lot of serious topics, but let's end on a lighter note. Did you know that your Social Security or VA benefits can help you enjoy some great discounts? Many businesses offer special deals for seniors and veterans. From restaurants to retail stores to travel companies, there are plenty of ways to stretch your benefits further. Don't be shy about asking if a senior or veteran discount is available. 
you might be pleasantly surprised. As we wrap up, I want to remind you all how important it is to stay informed about your benefits. Policies and procedures can change and new opportunities may become available. Make it a habit to regularly check the official websites of the Social Security Administration and the VA for updates. And of course, keep tuning into videos like this one for the latest news and tips. Remember, your benefits are more than just a monthly payment. They're a recognition of your contributions to our society, whether through your years of work or your service to our country. You've earned these benefits, and you deserve to make the most of them. So stay informed, stay proactive, and most importantly, enjoy the financial security that these programs provide.